Hi, welcome to today's walk and tone workout. We're going to walk a lot and we're going to tone mostly the upper body. So use a pair of light weights for this workout. And of course, before we start this workout, make sure to subscribe to the channel, click on the bell icon, and then you won't miss any of my new and upcoming workouts. So just get ready and let's start. Okay, here we go. And we start this workout with a short warm up. To warm up a little bit, get a blood flow going and prepare ourselves for the main workout. You don't need your weight in the warm up. We're going to start with side step and arm circles. So come on, circle the arms from the front to the side, big circles to get the blood flow going in the arms. Loosen up the shoulders a little bit because we're going to walk and doing lots of upper body moves using the light weights today. So step and circle, big ones. Don't go too fast. Leave some energy for the main workout, but make big circles to the outside to warm up a little bit. And from the circles, we're going over to the swings. In a few seconds, final circles and over to the swings. Cross your arms behind, of course your leg behind, tap it and just swing your arms from side to side. Slide curls in the legs by tapping the toes behind, warming up the hamstrings a little bit without lifting up too much already. Come on, big swings all the way from the side to the side. In the main workout, it's 10 different exercises today. We do every exercise 50 seconds on. We have a 10 seconds active rest, mostly to release the tension of the upper body a little bit and really catch your breath a bit. After the 10 minutes, after the 10 exercises, we have a water break and then we're repeating the exercises once. And we finish with a short cool down and a bit of stretching at the end. So that's what we're going to do today. Final swings. And then, we're going over to the curls and extensions. So back to the regular side steps, curl and extend your arms. One arm up, one arm down, warming up bicep triceps, getting more blood flow in the arms. The heart rate is up a little bit, all good. So after this one, we're going to do one more exercise in the warm up, and then we're ready to go. So come on, curl and extend a little bit power in those arms because we're going to use the biceps in the main workout with the weights as well. A little bit of the shoulders, the abs, the back, all while working. Lots of lots of steps. So come on, final curls, final extensions. And then we're going to do one more exercise to warm up and that's for the calves because we're going to do lots of steps. Final ones, and that's it. Coming to a wide stand, what we're going to do is raise one heel at a time. So raise it up, up. So you're going to swing a little bit from right to left, going on your toes, pulling your heels up, getting release of the tension in the ankles and warming up the calves a little bit. So really press down the toe into the floor and lift your heels up. Just swing your arms a little bit from side to side. Make sure your chest is up and open and your heart rate is lowering down a bit after the steps we did in the warm up. Because after the heel raises, we're going to pick up the weights and starting the main walk and tone exercises. Come on, lift the heels up, press the toes down, warming up the calves, releasing tension in the ankles. And that's it. Okay, shake it out and then grab your weights. I use one kilogram dumbbells in the walk and tone workout today. Just a light weight to intensify the moves a little bit. The first exercise is a toe tap in front and we're going to make bicep curls. Ready, feet on hip wide and go. So curl and tap. Remember always when you make the bicep curls, keep the tension on. So do not swing too much. Don't lower the arms too low. 
keep the tension on and from there you curl that's it upper body is straight up shoulders above the hips belly is tucked in and from there you tap the toes in front getting the steps in and working the biceps so curl keep the elbows still working the biceps and keep the tension on 10 seconds left then we're going to lower down the weights release the tension but we have to do a final taps final curls that's it okay make a side step in between the exercise or a march or spot stay active but release the tension shake out your arms the next one is a march we're stepping out arms are up on the chest step out and then you make an extension so you bring the weights on the chest palms facing down and every time you make a side step you extend your arms working the shoulders and the triceps a little bit that's it make sure you keep your neck long shoulders down because it's easy to pull up the shoulders towards the ears but make sure your shoulders are down neck is long and extend that's it and we're making lots of steps side to side final five seconds come on keep the elbows up work the shoulders and the last one that's it now lower down shake it out and stay active the next one is another side step exercise but now the arms stay down we're going to use the core so we're making side bends here you go come on step it side to side not a big step just a little bit faster to get a heart rate up and then bend from side to side without twisting in so you keep your chest open and only bending from side to side lowering the weights about a knee high and then back up working the core the obliques your waistline while still getting lots of steps in that's it just let the weights hang on your hands in your arms you don't need to pull some muscles only working your core here final seconds that's it okay stay center and keep on walking keep on marching whatever you want the next one another toe tap friends and we're going to make chest presses so press the weights out and pull back that's it so you keep the weights up on chest high shoulders down chest up and you step and press step and press bring the weights towards each other in front of you and then you pull back working the back side off your shoulders your chest and a little bit of your upper back that's it come on the heart rate is going up we're going to push a little bit so tap it make sure your shoulders are straight above the hips don't lean back while pressing keep your core engaged that's it come on hold the weights up final seconds and that's it now lower down shake it out the next one is a high knee while we do that we make a shoulder press so we're pressing the weights up towards the ceiling ready come on press it up alternating sides so it's left knee right arm right knee left arm and left knee right arm <laughs> that's it come on different sides and with this one it's also important to engage your abs so pull the belly in and keeping the shoulders straight above the hips now you just press the weight up towards the ceiling and bring it back on shoulder height try to lift the knees up as high as you can that's it come on a high knee march and press it 10 more seconds up that's it keep going final press and lower the arms down we're halfway in the first round the next one is a reverse step and we make a small row ready come on tap it so you're slowly bending over so you can row reverse steps 
So we keep making the steps. And when you row, elbows are small towards your waistline, towards your hips. And try to squeeze the shoulder blades together. So open your chest and row. Create one for the upper part of your back. Small rows, reverse steps. 15 seconds, come on. Knees are slightly bent. Keep on breathing. Chest is open. And just a few more. Row, row, and that's it. Shake it out. The next one is a side step with an upright row. And it's an easy one, so we're going to make big steps. Ready? Come on, up, up. Big steps, use your legs and pump the heart rate up. You row the waist up, hand chest tight, elbows going out without pulling the shoulders up to the ears. So your upper body stays long, your neck is long, and just row up. Elbows out, great one for the front side, half the shoulders. Come on, big step from side to side. Power in the moves. And get the heart rate up, up, row, row, that's it, elbows out, 10 more seconds, and the last one, that's it, where you get your breath a little, stay active, the next one is a butt kick, so you're going to step, curl the heels, and making hammer curls, palms facing towards each other, come on, curl, Hop. And again, keep the tension on the biceps. And bring the weights towards the shoulders, keeping the elbows still. So we're doing leg curl, bicep curl in one move. So stay in a wide stand. Kick your butt. Great one for the hamstrings. We're still getting lots of steps in. Come on, press the shoulders down, chest up, open. Hop. Curl it. Different angle of the biceps is working now. Curl, curl. Come on, kick your butt. 10 more seconds. Curl the heels up. That's it. Bounce a little side to side. And that's it. Two more exercises. The next one is a side step with a front and side raise. And then we finish with the V steps. Come on, side raise. Front raise and make side steps. Up. So we're going from front and side. Make sure your arms are slightly bended and your wrists are in a straight line. Try not to swing and make controlled moves front and back because it's easy to swing around. But make controlled moves, making the steps. That's it. It's a walk and tone, front and side. Working the shoulders a little bit more. 15 seconds. Raise your arms up on chest and shoulder height. Come on. Final seconds. Keep going. And that's it. Lower down, shake it out. Final exercise. It's a V-step and we're going to make bended openers. So we're working a little bit biceps and most of the shoulder. Ready? Right, left. And left, right. Come on, it's the final one. So try to speed up a little. It's an easy move. So really try to open up without pushing your chest to the front. Elbows are still as possible. Left, right. Right, left. Out and out, in and in. Open, open. And bring the weights back in front of your belly. That's it. 20 seconds. Then we have a water break. Come on. Open, open. Open, open. Can keep the elbows still. Final ones. And the last one. That's it. Well done. Drop the weights because it's time to drink some water, hydrate our bodies. And then I see you in round number two. We do the same 10 exercises. Okay, 
Okay, here we go again. Round number two. So grab your weights again. And we're starting with the toe taps and the regular bicep curls. So palms facing up and we're curling towards the shoulders. Feet on hip wide, active posture, ready. And then, here we go. Come on, tap it and curl it. So tuck your belly in, shoulders down and curl it. And we're already warmed up. So if you want, hop, you can speed it up a little bit. That's it. But keep the controlled moves. Don't swing the arms. So find your own pace and get a heart rate up, get lots of steps in and have a good workout. We're halfway in this exercise. So it's the final round. After this one, nine more minutes, and then we have a cool down and stretching. So come on and get more steps in. Tap it, up and curl it. That's it, final ones. And release the tension. The next one is that side march step, and we're going to extend. So make sure your neck is long, shoulders are down. Fist are towards each other. Here we go. Extend and step. That's it. So try to keep your elbows still and really extend your arm to the wall behind you so you can feel your triceps, the backside of your arm. Hop side to side. Don't bring your shoulders to the ears. Keep a long neck. Tuck your belly in and make steps side to side. That's it, up, side to side, side to side. And 10 more seconds, come on, keep the arms up, you can do it. I know the shoulders are a little bit tight from round one, but we can manage this. Final one, and now lower down, release the tension. The next one is a side step with a side bend, so no tension on the arms in this exercise. Ready? Here we go. Come on, hop. So keep the chest open, do not twist in. Only bending side to side. Working your waistline, your obliques. Up. That's it. Toning our midsection a little bit with the side bend steps. Up, side to side. And drop the shoulder, drop the weight. So you have to work your obliques by getting up and then to the other side. That's it. And 10 more seconds. Up and bend it. Come on. That's it. Well done. The next one is a toe tap in front again. But this time with the chest pressure, bring the weight together in front of your chest and then pull back. Arms up, tap it and press it. That's it. Make sure your shoulders are straight above the hips and mostly pay attention that you do not lean back while pressing because then you're hurting your lower back and we don't want to have that. So tuck your belly in, shoulders above the hips, tap and press. When you pull back, keep the elbows up a little bit. That's it, come on. Work it out, keep the heart rate up. 15 seconds. Press it, press it. Come on, almost there, you can do it. Keep it up, shoulders down, neck long. And that's it, now release. Lower the arms down, shake it out, this was a heavy one after the extensions. The next one is that high knee with the press. So we do right knee, left arm. Come on, press it, press it. And with this one, still important, that you keep the shoulders straight above the hips. You do not lean back. So tuck that belly in, press out, and lift that knee as high as you can. That's it. And if you want, come on, we're going to speed up a little bit. That's it. Wanna keep the heart rate up? We're halfway in this workout. We have only five exercises left after this one. So really push it, challenge yourself a bit. Press it out, 15 seconds. Come on. 
Lift the knees up higher and a little bit higher. Final seconds. Press it. That's it. Oh, good job. Come on, hurry, catch your breath a little. The next one is the three first steps with the small rows. Bend over a little bit and go. Up. Knees are slightly bent, so that weight is in your front leg. Working the quads a little bit. And row. When you make the rows, elbows small, and try to squeeze the shoulder blades a little bit. Chest is open. That's it. Row, row, row. Come on, keep going. Halfway in this exercise. Elbows small. Row. Come on, squeeze the shoulder blades. Work the backside. Hop. And 10 seconds. Keep on tapping, keep on walking, getting more steps in. And the final rows. That's it. The next one is a side step with the upright rows. And you want to make big steps because it's an easy move. So try to make them big. Ready? Come on, row, big steps. Use the outer thighs to make steps. Press yourself from the left to the right side of your room. That's it. Elbows are going out. And you bring the weights up on chest height. Working the shoulders a little bit. Come on. Chest up, shoulders down, make yourself long. And big steps, bigger, bigger. That's it. Come on, keep pushing. We're heading towards the end. 15 seconds. Don't slow down. 10 seconds. Up. A few more rows. And that's it. Shake it out, stay active. Next one is that butt kick with the hammer curl. So palms are facing towards each other. We're curling the weights up to the shoulders. Little white stand, come on, curl and kick. Little bounce, come on. Only two more after this. So keep up the pace, keep your heart rate up, chest up, that's it. And keep the tension on your biceps. So you bring the weights back to your legs, just a little bit above, and then curl it towards the shoulders. That's it. And try to kick your butt. Work your hamstrings, curling your heels up, and get the steps in. 15 seconds. And only the side steps with the front and side races and the V steps are left. So come on, curl and kick your butt. Curl, curl, curl. And that's it. Great effort. Come on, stay active. Don't stand still. Take a deep breath in. Next one, regular side step, front and side raise. Ready? Come on, up. One arm front, the other is going up to the side. That's it. Ha. Don't try to swing your upper body. Keep the shoulders still, your hips still, because it's easy to twist in. But engage your core, tuck the belly in, and only bring your arms up to the front, up to the side. That's it. Come on. Hop. Front and side, front and side. You're doing a great job. Only one more left. And 10 seconds. Raise it up. Raise it up. And... The final ones, that's it. Lower down and we finish with the feet steps and the bended openers. Try to keep the elbows still, open up as much as you can, working the full shoulder range, come on. And we alternate between right and left. So right, left, left, right, or the other way around. Open up. And keep the arms bended in that 90 degree angle, keeping the tension on the biceps and opening up, working the shoulders up. Come on. It's the final one, 20 seconds left. Then we're done. And we're going to do a cool down and a bit of stretching. So keep pushing. Up, up, 
big moves, more power. Final five seconds. Right, left, up, and that's it. Well done. Drop the weights because we don't need to hold them anymore. What we're going to do is just march out, interlace your fingers, take deep breaths in, or make a side step, whatever you want, but really slow it down. Rotate your wrist, release the tension out of your wrist by holding the weights, and take deep breaths in. And out, lowering the heart rate to normal levels. And then what are we going to do? Is standing still and stretching the arms up. Palms are up to the ceiling and really stretch it up. Move the arms back without pushing your hips forward. So only the arms opening up your chest, your shoulders, stretching out up to the ceiling. And then release. Swing your fists, or swing your wrist. Your arms releasing the tension and then interlace one more time, going up, palms are opening up, press the arms up towards the ceiling, make yourself long and then open up, bring the arms back without pushing the hips forward. So only the arms opening up, feel the tension on your chest, your shoulders and release, make a few swings, pulses. And now we're going to stretch the calves because we don't do, do, did a lot of steps. So press that heel down, feel that stretch in your calf. And if you have that, then bring the arm, left arm to the front, shoulder down, pull your arm towards your chest to stretch the shoulder as well. So keep pressing the heel down, work your calf, and still breathing in and out, lowering your heart rate, or you catching your breath, and then over to the other side, step it back, press the heel down, feel the stretch on your calf, and with it straight up upper body, your right arm is going front. Reach out, shoulder down, and then pull towards your chest to feel that nice stretch from the shoulder blade to the front side of the shoulder and still stretching your calf as well. Hold it a few more seconds. And that's it. Release, make a few swings. Then the feet are going on hip wide, knees are slightly bent. Place your hands above your knees and then rotate to the left to release the tension out of your knees, ankles, and your hips. That's it. Just lean on your legs and rotate to the other side all the way around. So you're really releasing tension in the ankles, the knees, and a little bit of the hips. And three, two, one, and coming up, shake it out. Going to do one final stretch, and that's the one for the neck. So press your left arm down as much as you can without bending your upper body to the side, and then grab your head with your right arm, and then pull your head towards your right shoulder. Still pressing your left arm down, and then you feel the stretch all the way in your neck. Make it long, don't pull too hard. Just a little bit to feel that stretch. And a little bit more to the front with your head. To have a different angle where you feel the stretch. And then just release it. Over to the other side, press your right arm down. Grab your head with your left and then pull it towards your left shoulder, still pressing your right arm down. First just straight. And then bring your arm to the front of your head a little bit to the front to feel the different stretch in your neck. And then slowly release and we finish with a head roll, releasing all the tension. So your chin is going to your chest, roll to the shoulder, back to the other side and roll back one more time, right to left. And then when you're on your chest, roll back up, finish with the shoulder roll, and then bring your thumbs up because give yourself a well-deferred thumbs up because you finished this workout. We did a lot of steps, worked your upper body. So I hope you enjoyed it. And of course, I wish you a great day and hope to see you next time in another workout. Bye.